decided to show you something cool, two-dimensional NMR. So I'll first start by doing what's called the depth spectrum. It's uh, instructions are on the desk here. We need to be in the carbon-13 setting. So I'm currently in the proton NMR setting, so I gotta type NU space C13, enter. And then to start a depth scan, I type DEPT. It stands for di distortionless um, depth, D -E -P -T, forget. enhanced polarization technique, I think, or transform, I forget. But I'll, you'll see what it looks like shortly. After I hit depth, I hit enter, and it says, do you want to save it as my depth? And I do, I hit enter again, and it'll start doing it. And this uh, type of two-dimensional NMR It'll tell us how many hydrogens are on each carbon. So each carbon signal will know how many hydrogens it has. I'll show you how it tells us that. It takes a little while to run, so I'll pause the video. Okay, so the depth scans are done. Uh, it only took about five minutes. And then it asked me if I want to auto-process the depth data, and I do, so I click yes. And here it is, the signals are kind of poking through. There should be three stacked plots right now. I'm using the mouse wheel to make this signal shorter. That looks pretty good. And um, what this, each plot tells you a different thing. This top one tells you if you have, if you have a signal pointing up on this, it tells you it's either a CH one having one hydrogen or a CH3. The second plot says you're a CH1, only CH1 show up. So for example, when I look at this one, which is the methyl we know around it's like 10, 20, 30, 30, 22 or so, this methyl signal has three hydrogens, so it's showing pointing up. But uh, if I didn't have the plots below, I would say, oh, it's either a CH3 or CH. But then when I come here, I see it's not showing up, so, oh, it must be a CH3, because only CHs show up here. And then these three here are all CHs, which we should, which we expect, because we have, in the aromatic region, we have one, two, three, four CHs, actually, huh? Let me guess, that's what we want, four. So am I seeing four? I gotta actually zoom in on that. When I go to zoom in, oh yeah, yeah, there's four. Yep, I was just not seeing it. Uh, when I zoom in on it, I lose the stack plots, but if I just type ST, SP, sorry, SP, stack plots, it brings them back up. So I zoomed in on the aromatic region, like 125 to 135. And so this is either, on this first graph, that these signals are here, they're saying they're either CH3s or CHs. The second one, if they're still there, then they, they are CHs. The final one just shows all carbons with hydrogen, so. The final one's kind of redundant. Well, yeah, I don't know. Let me zoom in though from like 200 to zero. Now I'll do the stack plot again, SP stack plots. So yeah, I've got those all four of the aromatics, CHs, and then the aromatic that didn't show up, I think it's in between here, the reason why, and then another one over here. They didn't show up because they have no hydrogens, because. If you have zero hydrogens, you don't show up on this graph, this graph, or this graph. So after you've run your one-dimensional carbon anymore, you look for any missing signals, and that tells you those carbons have zero hydrogens. Um, I'll tell you more. I'll save this, and then um, I'll, I'll, I'll put a NOA. I'll put a uh, text box, and then I'll, I'll put it in the Google Doc, and I'll explain it. It's interesting. Um, and, but while I'm doing this, I'm going to go over I'll start another two. 2D NMR. I'm going to do the HET core. The HET core is my favorite. So I type H E T C O R, HET core, and then I hit enter. It's asking me, do I want to save it as my HET core, the default name? I say yes. I hit enter again. And then it asks me for a relaxation delay. It's two seconds, like uh, when we shim. And then it asks for how many scans. We'll go four. And HETCOR, it stands for Heteronuclear Correlation Spectroscopy. What it is, is it's, uh, it's going to have the proton NMR on one axis and the carbon NMR on another. And then you're going to see uh, which 
proton signals go to which carbon signals. It's, it's, it's really cool, you'll see it shortly. But let me go back and I'll label this, not this one, I'll label the uh, depth and save it and put it in the Google Doc. Okay, the PET core scans are done. So it asked me do I want to automatically process them? And I say yes. And here it is. Looks pretty good, yeah. So these uh, signals in the middle, they correspond between carbons, like this carbon right here. This is our methyl carbon. If I go down, you'll see it's at about 20 parts per million. So that carbon, when I go down, it hits this spot, this gray spot. When I come across, it tells me that, oh, this is the hydrogen signal for the, the hydrogens that are on that carbon. And this is the methyl, the three hydrogen signal. It's at about two parts per million. And then these aromatics, the ones that have hydrogens, you'll see as you go down, they have a correlation to the aromatic hydrogens. And same with these three that are here. Uh, and then you can see the two smallest signals in the aromatic region, they don't have any hydrogens on them, as well as the carbonyl, no hydrogens on them. So when you go down, they don't have any core corresponding signals in the head core. That just tells you there's no hydrogen signal for them, so you don't have a signal here. And uh, we can zoom in and out on these two. Like I'm using the, the mouse right now, wheel. And if I, I've zoomed in pretty far, too far, I'm getting a lot of noise. So I want to zoom back out. If I zoom too far out, I'll lose some peaks too. So I want to go just far enough. I'm kind of cheating it in a way because I know, not really much, but I know that I should have, this should have a, this methyl has three hydrogens. I know that should have a correlation here. And then these one, two, three, four have one hydrogen. So they should have a correlation. So yeah, looks good. So I'll put a text box on this, just like we do in the other ones. What's the command for text box? Anybody know? No? N-O, N-O, and then A to add it. No. So I'll label that, I'll save it, and I'll share it with you later. There's one last type of um, 2D NMR that I'll, I would have you do if you're here, and I'll go ahead and do it now. It's the Cozy. So COSY is a spectroscopy that has to be done in the hydrogen NMR setting. So I gotta type NU space H1 and then hit enter. And then to start a COSY, you just type C-O-S-Y, enter. And then it says, do you wanna save it as my COSY? And I say, yes, save it. I just hit enter to do that. And then the relaxation delay, again, it's two seconds. And the number of scans, in this case, we just do one. And then we hit OK, and we wait for it to go. The COSY, uh, it correlates proton NMR to proton NMR. So what it does is it tells you which hydrogens are coupling of the ones that are coupling. You'll see it when it's done. And it'll, it doesn't take too long, but I'll pause the video while it's going. The COSY scans are done. So it's asking, do I want to automatically process COSY data? Yes. And here it is. The COSY can be a little tricky. Uh, you want to see signals along a diagonal here, but you also want them off of the diagonal on either side. And to, in order to do that, you need to use the mouse wheel and you need to make this, everything more intensified. So, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty good. So what this is telling us is that the methyl is, this is the proton NMR here. Here's the scale below. Here's the same exact proton NMR here. And there's its scale. So what's going on is, is when you see a proton signal, you come down when you see, when you see one of these, like looks like a psychology test, an ink blot test, like, oh my God, this reminds me of when my dad wrapped my arm after I broke it when I was five. So anyways, so if I come across, it, it tells me that this, these hydrogens are related to those hydrogens, and they should be because these are the exact same ones. This is the same methyl signal. But as I go down, there's no other off-axis, off the diagonal axis, there's no signals that correspond to this methyl, which is good because the methyl is a singlet. It doesn't 
coupling again. Now let's do one that does have coupling. So one of the hydrogens on the aromatic ring up here, if I come down, it, ha it correlates to itself, but it also correlates off axis to this guy. So it's saying that these hydrogens are coupling to those hydrogens. And th these ones right here are these ones. So it's, it's an obvious thing in this case, but it's saying the hydrogens here are being coupled by the hydrogens over here. So cozy is, it's not my most favorite, but it could be very useful, especially with big molecules and a lot of hydrogens. You can tell which ones are coupling. Uh, I will label it and uh, screen capture it and send it to myself and put it in the Google Docs for you guys.